Hello and welcome back. Hey, how are you? How's it going? So if you didn't already tell by the title, this is going to be a little makeup tutorial kind of thing. On Easter, I did a vlog for you guys and also mentioned that on Instagram, I had asked what kind of video you guys wanted to see and the majority of you guys chose vlog obviously but I wanted to go ahead and also give the other people that requested the makeup video this video so basically I'm gonna show you how I did my Easter makeup look because it was my first time doing that look and I created that look based off of another picture that I was looking at so thought I'd go ahead and pretty much show you guys how I came about with it so if that is something you're interested in seeing, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and keep on watching. Okay, so I went ahead and did my face and stuff off camera because I have shown you guys that too many times. So I didn't want to bore you with it, but we're going to go ahead and move on to the eyes. So for the eyes, I pretty much used my Disney Villains palette, Misunderstood. And then I went ahead and used my Disney Designer Collection palette, It's a Princess Thing. For the eye look, I'm just going to be using my tapered blending brush, my Luxie 213 flat brush, and my Luxie 221 flat definer brush. So taking my tapered blending brush, I am going to get chip and just put that all over my lid as like a little start thing. idea why I was using that color in the first place. First of all, you can't even see it, and second of all, there was just no point. So you guys can go ahead and skip that step if you want. I don't know. Can't really see anything with it much, so you gotta go in there quite a little bit. And then other eye as well. And obviously there is a little bit of black that's kind of popping out <laughs> with chip, but that's okay, because we're gonna use black anyway. We just wanna start it off with chip. Okay, so now that we are set with chip, I'm gonna jump into my Villains Misunderstood palette and I'm gonna go in with the taper blending brush still and I'm gonna take this matte black shade. This one's called 101. Couldn't already guess it, it's from 101 Dalmatian. Duh. And we're just gonna start blending that out from the corner and then work our way around the eye. And we're gonna go kinda high for this look as well. So just gonna give you guys that for now. Pretty much, I'm just gonna start tapping it in and just working my way up and then I'm gonna go ahead and blend it out once it's all set. And slowly just start blending it out. And I'm gonna repeat that step until I have it the way I want it to be. So you wanna make sure that you really get it blended out. Obviously you guys that have more experience in makeup than me, it's gonna be a little more blended out, um, kind of better I guess. So, sorry, your girl ain't a pro. I say that almost every single time I do a makeup video for you guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and get some more of it because I want it to be black black, not like a charcoal gray sort of deal. So I'm just gonna repeat the same steps until I have it as dark as I need it to be. So then we're gonna work our way and blend it out towards the middle of the eye. So that way when we put the pink in, we'll be able to blend it out afterwards. So for now, the black is kind of where I want it to be. You can obviously go back and make it darker if you want. But for now, I'm going to leave it like this and jump into the other eye. Okay, so this eye is actually coming out better than the left eye. This is the way that I kind of wanted it to be. Not this way. So I think we're just going to focus on this eye instead. Okay, so I just want to let you guys know that I'm not really putting any force on the brush. I'm kind of just lightly blending it and that's kind of what's creating this little bit. So yeah, pretty much this is how the eye is going to look when it's like started off. I want to just zoom into this eye because this one looks so much better. Moving on to my designer collection palette. I'm going to go ahead and take the shade Fairy Godmother, which is this kind of rosy-ish pinkish shade and that's gonna go on the other half of the lid so I may have put this a little too far but let's just let's just see what happens okay so for that I'm gonna take my Luxie 213 eye shading pencil this is what it looks like just a flat brush it's an eye shading pencil but I'm just using it to store everything on the lid and then I'm gonna go in with my finger and put the rest on just pack it on <laughs> so I'm just gonna go all the way to the top and just pack on the pink 
So now that we have that, I'm gonna go back with my tapered blending brush and I'm just gonna start swiping it a little bit just so it blends completely. And then if need be, I'm just gonna go and put the pink in again and fix it up. I am going to take the excess of shade 101 and I'm gonna put that all over my lash line. Just blend it out with the same brush. Okay, so I got a little more of 101 and I'm just adding that to the lash line just so it looks a little darker because at the end of the day, this was a dark Easter makeup look that I did. So put emphasis on the word dark, shall we? Okay, so now that we have the eyeshadow set, I'm gonna go ahead and take my eyeliner, which is Wet n Wild. Obviously, you guys know this little gal. I use it almost all the time. So pretty much, I'm just going to do a normal wing. So I kind of extended it a little more than I would normally do it. My hand is like shaking so bad right now, so I'm like trying to be as careful as possible. Especially because I'm trying to make sure that I'm still like in the frame because I have my mirror that I'm trying to look at and I'm looking at the camera at the same time. Moving on, taking my Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara from L'Oreal Paris. I'm gonna do these lashes because look how funky they look. Are you kidding me? So the hard part about this for me is my lashes are pretty long and curly so whenever i do my mascara i always tend to get mascara on my eyelid so that's kind of what i'm trying to prevent right now see look at that already got some on the eyelid god damn it okay and then we're gonna do lower lashes as well because hello need these lashes to be complete Okay guys, so my camera overheated, so I had to let it cool down. So while it was cooling down, I went ahead and fixed the other eye. But as you can see, the next step is going to be to put false lashes on. So I'm gonna go ahead and of course, take my Suavecita Sugar Plum Lashes and apply those right on. I actually went ahead and ordered some more lashes. I went like on a shopping spree with Suavecita. So got myself a bunch of goodies and lashes are included in that as well. So I'm pretty excited. I got another pair of these ones and some other ones. Okay, so as always, we're gonna use our duo eyelash glue. I use the green one. I don't know if there's a difference or anything, but that's the one that I've been using. Have my lash with the glue. Gonna let it dry for a bit. Then, let me go ahead and place that as close to the lash line as possible. And then I'm just gonna clamp the falsies with my lashes so they combine together. But then I'm gonna take my eyeliner one more time and just go over the liner that I already have just so it combines with the false lashes. So much for a thin liner, right? Falsy comes right in and makes it thicker. That liner was literally the same, but okay. Okay, so eyes aren't done just yet. One more step that we gotta do. So jumping back into my Disney Villains Misunderstood palette, I'm gonna go ahead and take the shade The Fates, which is this blue shade here, and I'm gonna go ahead and put that on my waterline. Okay, so now that we have the blue on the waterline, we're gonna go ahead and finish the face up. So, taking my e.l.f. contour palette in the light medium, go ahead and warm this face up. So, you already know, taking both of the bottom shades, all over the bottom as well. I'm gonna take the powder that I had, oh, that wasn't right. <laughs> Okay, so taking my large powder brush, just gonna take all the powder that I had on my under eye area and just wipe that off, cause I don't need that anymore. And I went ahead and put some more baking powder on this portion. Okay, so while that portion is baking, I'm gonna take my Maybelline Master Chrome Highlighter and just put that on. We just go and pack it up, okay? Just go and put that everywhere. We want everything to pop for this look, all right? 
And then to complete this entire look, gonna take this liquid lipstick from Anastasia. This one is called Potion, and it's this purple lipstick. So let's put that baby on, shall we? Okay guys, so this is the final look. If you are thinking of going dark for Easter, it really wasn't meant to be this dark, but it's me doing this, so things don't really go as planned. So, anyways, this is a close-up on the eyes. I actually like how my eyebrows came out. I think they look pretty neat and like my actual brows. But this is the eye look. Pretty fun, if you ask me. I think the blending came out pretty good. And then this is the lip color. It looks black, but it's really purple, I promise. But yeah, guys, this is it. How we looking? Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed it, and I really hope you guys enjoyed this look. I'm pretty amazed because I created this based off of a picture that I was looking at. Obviously, looks nothing like the picture, but it's, you know, I don't know. My creativity came out in some way. I guess so that's pretty cool if you guys enjoyed this video please give it a big old thumbs up i would really appreciate that don't forget to comment share and subscribe make sure those post notifications are turned on so you guys know exactly when i post don't forget to follow me on instagram because when i am not here i am over there i love you guys so much and i will see you guys in my next video bye